All right, guys, today we're going to do a Poulon Pro PP4018 chainsaw. Uh, we're doing the carburetor and fuel lines on this, uh, primer ball shot. Um, I, I don't even mess around with these. I, I charge 60 bucks to do this, and I actually should charge. I'm going to raise my price because it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. But, you know, it's it's just easier to do the whole, the whole thing. Fuel lines carburetor primer ball everything um because you're gonna have it all out anyways you, you if this is bad your fuel lines even if they aren't bad and you don't do them by the time you try to pull them off of there they're going to crumble but even if they don't a week later they're going to crumble and you'll wish you had done it while you were working on it anyways so i just do the whole thing get it over with all the parts come in the uh description below just uh they come in a box just click on the link in the description below um it's got your carburetor gaskets are in there and then underneath this is your fuel lines get uh primer bulb um filters another primer bulb everything you need to do this job is in the in the description below all right let me get the camera set up so we've got uh three bolts here we got one here one over here on this side and one up front over here um it's torque 20 uh 25 torque 25 we're going to take those three out go around so we find that somewhere there it is move the fan so you can hear me better all right those three are out the uh brake we're gonna want to put on and then you lift the back up and the front up slide it right on out there we go all right um air filter off go Just cover here we've got one two three and another one here four uh torque 25 bolts i'm going to take those out because that's how you get to the primer bulb There's supposed to be a torque 25 right here. Somebody's been in this before. So, whatever. Get two eight millimeters. I'm going to take those out. these out take this air filter assembly off there's arms broken off of that and that's missing somebody definitely been in here we're gonna take and pull this back a little bit and then take the choke arm off it's just an S turn goes in and out like that push this back in now we're going to throttle this up Throttle it up and then slide this arm out this way. All right, and then uh, and then uh, this is an S turn here, so it just comes out as well. See, it's that right there. No big deal. No 
big deal at all. Um, and we're we'll reach in here, some needle nose, pull off into the fuel lines. Don't worry about where they go. I'll show you where everything goes later in the video. So in this one, and I'm going to set this up differently than the way they've got it. I got a more direct route. So see, they run the fuel filter line right here across to here, and then this is the fuel return line. They run it across to there. Well, the problem is, is when you're doing this, sometimes they get pinched off in here when you're closing it and then it won't prime and you're like what the heck's wrong well it gets pinched and that's the problem and it, or this one gets pinched and it doesn't let the fuel in or something gets pinched so I go directly from this side to the fuel uh, inlet with the filter and then directly from here into here for the fuel um, you know uh, return the fuel return line um, all right, now I'm done explaining myself and what I'm about to do. The only reason I'm explaining myself is because I have people on other videos all the time saying, you did it wrong. No, I didn't. If it runs when you're done, it's not done wrong. It's done. So, this line right here will pull right out. The uh, filter line you'll have to take out from this side, but there might be gas in here, so we're going to go ahead and take that cap off and drain it all out. All right, we've got that gas drained out. Reach in, grab the fuel line, pull it all out. Make sure there's no debris or anything inside. You want it completely dry, empty, devoid of water or anything, dirt, anything. All right, now. Um, I'm going to clean out the inside of here and dry out the, uh, the uh, tank. Just want to make sure there's no dirt, no crumbled fuel line, no water, no nothing. You're going to use brand new bought today gas in this. The reason for that is gas after it's gotten two weeks old has lost some of its flammability. Not a lot. It'll run your car, but these are very sensitive. It won't run this properly. You'll lose power. Um, sometimes it'll even bog. Um, you know, so we, we want brand new gas every time you use this that you bought that day. All right, got our new carburetor. The old carburetor's got the rubber boot on it still. Sometimes it stays on there. Whatever, we'll put it right back on there. There's no gasket. Um, the gasket is on this carburetor still. So we're going to use the brand new gasket. You'll see there's a little hole at the bottom of this. So your brand new gasket has a hole at the bottom of it as well. That is your vacuum port. for your, It's basically the vacuum line that runs the fuel pump that's built into your carburetor. That's the fuel pump for the single hole. So we're going to put that on there. All right. Thin fuel line. We got uh, fuel lines here. Thin fuel line is going to go into this back left hand hole. Here, let me, let me just situate this thing here. There we go. Give us a better view. All right, so we're going to cut this into a point and I actually like making the point you know over an inch long just keep cutting down the side so that you can get some decent amount of fuel line and cut. that way you can get a decent amount of fuel line in so you can grab it easier
and then you're just going to pull it through, you know, about an inch. You're just pulling it through the, the tank. That's your return. Bit. All right. That's going to go through here like this. We're going to uh, cut it off right here. Grab the primer bulb out of this kit. The long primer bulb line is going to be that line right there. That's the return. That blows the gas back into the tank. It's a tight fit, but it goes on. Just try to shove it on there as, as far as you can manage to get it. The further you get it, the, the better. But, all right, that's good. All right, I'll just give you an idea of what's going on here, all right? This is the return, the long nipple goes to return. So the short line suction. So it'll pull gas from the tank, through the carburetor, into the suction, and back out the return. That's how this is working. All right, now we're gonna go ahead, get the thick line. We're gonna cut it into a point. Same with it. We're gonna cut that point, whoops, about you know an inch down. Just makes it easier to grab it. You got plenty of fuel line in this kit. They give you actually enough fuel line to do this twice. And so, you know, just cutting a nice long. And then we're going to go down into that hole. back there and grab it. Let's see it. Trying to do this on camera. Where'd it go? What the heck? All the way back all there. I couldn't see it. It looked like a line in the plastic. <laughs> there we go. We're going to pull this one all the way out of the tank, like this. Cut that tip off. We're going to take one of the fuel filters that they give us, and we're going to stab it on. Now we're going to take this line that's on the other side, and pull this back through until it's sitting on the bottom of the tank. Like that. It's right on the bottom of the tank. You can see it in there. It's on the bottom of the tank, whatever. Alright, it's on the bottom of the tank. Alright, now we're going to take, just to get an idea where this is going, carburetor on. This fuel line is going to go directly to this side. We're going to cut it to length. That's your fuel inlet, right? Now, I should leave this right on here. We got to go to the short nipple. Do this fuel line. Now, put this primer bulb in place. Um, this fuel line in. So short nipple facing down. Two barbs in place. We just push it in till it clicks. There you go. Now this is suction line. It is going to this barb here. So we're going to cut it to length. needle nose. We're going to stab it on. There you go. 
go. And then this side here, we're going to stab onto this barb right there. Now, if you look at that, yeah. so much cleaner. It isn't crisscrossing. You ain't got a bunch of extra line. It's just nice and direct. That's why I do it this way. I'm done explaining myself. All right. All right. So we got that in place. We're going to take the choke arm, pull this out a little bit choke arm in, oh, let's go like this, like that, then the throttle arm, um, we're going to have it like this angle here, we're going to go in that bottom hole and back, and then we're going to throttle it up on the carburetor side, and then bring this up and in place. Now, there's another little trick. Let me throttle up. You see this rod? Oh, you don't see it. See this rod right here? You see it sticks out the end of that? We want to cut that tip off because it hits the air filter cover, this plastic piece right here. It's just too long on these. I don't know why. So I just cut the tip off where that right at the edge still sticks out it's just too long on these aftermarket carburetors that's that's all simple simple all right now air filter assembly back on two eight millimeter nuts in place You got them both snug down, finger tight, then you can tighten them all the way. Um, get that one started in before you tighten these all the way. It's missing, so that's what it is. All right, that part's done. Throttle's working. We're rocking and rolling. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the recoil on. Set it in place. Sometimes you got to give the cord like a little pull to make it drop down in place. And then four screws. One, two, three, four. Tighten them down. Get them all started first. Always start anything you're working on. Start the bolts first on any piece that you're putting on. If you tighten one down, it can shift it just enough to where you can't get the last bolt in. And you have to go back and loosen them all up to get that last bolt st started. It's just a trick. Most mechanics know. Alright, before we go any further, pop a little gas in it. I got it in the Gatorade bottle. I just dump it from the gas can into the Gatorade bottle so I can make sure there's no water in it. It's one of those little extra steps I take so when the customer comes in with water and his tank, he'll be like, Oh no, that's the way you gave it to me. And I can go, No, no, it's not. And yes, that happens all the time. It's mostly what comes in here is people dumping water in their stuff because the uh, ethanol actually attracts water. All right, we're going to go ahead and try to start this. All right, this is a first startup. We're going to take the brake off. Um, I'm going to pull this choke all the way out. We're going to uh, prime it. All 
All right, it primed up. That's a good sign. We're going to pull it. Oh, is it going to start? Let's take it off, choke. Adjusted. It's a little bit lean. You hear it bogging out. So there's. Let me show you the adjustment screws, and I'll go through that whole process with you. It's just brand new carburetor. You got to adjust it. And after you run it for a little bit, you may have to adjust it again. Okay. Let's see here. So when it's bogging, the screw you're going to con concentrate on is the uh, high end it's uh looks like a spline tool um and it's going to be the one that's got a lot of splines on it let me see hold on let me find that i got so many tools hold on all right so it's a little spline tool here let me get set up again so that screw that i was talking about is going to go counterclockwise just a little bit at a time until it doesn't bog anymore when you when you squeeze the trigger. Well, I'm going to go through it. We're going to fire this up, and you're going to hear it. All right, should I go counterclockwise? A little more. A little more. Just a touch more. So that's it. Um, I'll put the adjustment tools. Uh, HIPA makes uh, a set of adjustment tools for these as well. I'll put them in the description as well for you. Now we're going to go ahead and put on the brand new air filter. Shug into place there. Air, uh, air filter cover. Just sits over top of it like so. And then this carburetor or the, uh, the chainsaw cover goes on the very top like that that choke uh, or the uh, brake on and then uh, torque 25 and tighten all these up and we're ready to go Alright guys, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, show a little support. I'll put all the parts in the description and the tools for adjusting the carburetor. Just click on the links below in the description. If you want to do any advertising on my channel, message me. I'm more than happy to have you. Peace.